How you doing YouTube? My name is Rick Scott and I'm going to show you a quick uh, tutorial on how to change the tempo of a sample and how to change the key of a sample so that it can match um, whatever project you're working on. First thing that you have to make sure of when you do this is you have to make sure that you have the correct tempo for you know the, the, uh, the track itself. In other words, I'm using two different samples here. The sample that I'm going to be working with that actually has the correct tempo is going to be this drum sample right here. I'm going to play it for you real quick. This is the drum sample. Now I know for, for a fact that that drum sample is actually uh, 115. That's the tempo. I know that for a fact. Um, the reason why I know for sure is because I actually uh, got that sample from a, a construction loop kit I bought. So I know for a fact that that's correct. Now the the uh, bass guitar that I'm going to add is a different uh, tempo. This is what the bass sounds like. It's way off. Okay. All right. So what, the way you do it is you highlight the sample that you want to change the tempo on. You go to audio and you go down to advance. You go down to uh, stretch to project tempo click on that and now as you see they match they're even and when I play them together it's in the right um, tempo now the other thing is let's say you're working with the track and you got um, a guitar or something or other sounds you want to put on top of this the way you change the tempo I'm sorry the way you change the key on this is you go up to audio, go to process, and you're gonna go down to pitch shift, and then this tells you right here the red note tells you where you are, and the blue note tells you what you're shifting it to. This starts off as a B, all right? The note itself is a B, and we're gonna shift this two semitones up to a C. Now the other thing you need to know is that you've got the option of going semitones, you have the option of doing fine tuning. But playing with these right here will help you. And you can see here your root note is uh, C, C3. That's your root note. Um, but really what you really need to know is these two things right here. And, you, and, and it's helpful to know that that's a, you're starting off in the key of B and you're shifting it up too. All right, so we do this and this is what it sounds like. Let's process it. And now we've shifted the key on this. Listen to it. That's really helpful um, for adding tracks. If you were doing harmony parts and you wanted to figure out what your harmony was, you can do that as well too. So um, again, my name is Rick, Rick Scott Productions. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, and more videos to come on tips and different things you can do in Cubase. Cubase 5 is what I'm using. And I uh, hope this has been informative to you. I want to thank you for viewing.